Hello friends, welcome to Pathological Concepts. Today we are going to learn about enchondromatosis and the most common variety Olier disease and Mofusi syndrome. Now what is enchondromatosis? Now this is a group of skeletal disorder. which are rare and where patient have multiple enchondroma what is enchondroma enchondroma are benign tumor of bone arising from cartilage. Now enchondromatosis has got various subtypes. We are talking about subtypes. So most common subtypes include Olier disease and Mafusi syndrome. So let's have a look. In Olier disease, there are multiple and chondroma affecting the limbs, short and long tubular bones of the limb basically. So short and long tubular bones are bones are affected. And about 75% cases occur in age less than 20 years. Talking about Mofusi syndrome, here patient have multiple enchondroma. Along with cutaneous soft tissue or visceral hemangioma this is important to note now if these features are there we call it Mofusi syndrome. Now, between these two diseases, the diagnosis is made using radiograph appearance. And clinical features. If we see the radiograph, generally uh, both the patient's radiograph appear similar. Uh, as we see in enchondroma, there are multiple oval linear pyramidal osteolytic lesions. So basically we get osteolytic lesions on the radiograph and with well-defined margins. And uh, patients are generally talking about clinical feature. Patients are generally asymptomatic, but uh, they can have pathological fractures. And which may cause pain. 
So let's have a radiographic look of this disease. This is a radiograph of four year old child. And if you could appreciate the lesion here in this area, it's a lytic lesion. It's also present here. These lytic lesions and uh, the same patient radiograph after 13 years you can appreciate that the lesion has increased increased in size the C image is representing the hyaline background So if we do biopsy, uh, send the sample for biopsy, we see a hyaline background in HE staining and these are cells. These cells are chondrocytes. And here you can see in this image, nuclear pleomorphism. and mitosis so this is basically showing malignant transformation the picture d is showing malignant transformation and its malignant counterpart is known as chondrosarcoma moving ahead we have picture of hand showing cutaneous hemangioma here cutaneous hemangioma and you can also see the multiple swellings in these regions so this is because of multiple and chondroma. You can see here the radiograph. The lesion is going to the bone. If you could appreciate, there is a the arrow pointing to the white dot. This is showing a stippled calcification. or we can say flabulates uh, these are flabulates and flabulates are uh, representative of hemangioma Here the vessel got calcified, so calcified vein. And we, we can clearly see the picture again, hyaline background. Hyaline background and here we can see the picture of hemangioma. So this clinical picture defines Mafusi syndrome. And this one defines earlier disease. So we have seen that the diagnosis are made with the help of radiographic appearance, with the help of microscopy and clinical features. Talking about treatment part. So the treatment. Orthopedic surgical intervention is required.
and uh, we do excision of the lesion if there is malalignment we can do osteotomy osteotomy done for malalignment and uh, these patients are kept in follow up patients kept in follow up because there is always a tendency of these benign tumors to get converting into malignant form so that's all for now hope you like the video thanks for watching thank you see you soon friends